first two masks she took out did not have an ear loop on one side, and then a third one had an ear loop, but it was broken. So that was just coming straight out of the box. They were already defective. A Calgary physician is frustrated by the personal protective equipment she and her colleagues are getting from the province, and she's not the only one going online to voice their concerns. These don't pinch at all. Dr. Christine O'Reilly understands these are unprecedented times and that the province needs to outsource to a new provider to keep up with demand, but she questions the product's effectiveness. This is a good mask. You can see quite a clear, obvious bend in the mask, um, and that's where it sits nicely over your nose. When the faulty mask is on, it doesn't bend like that, and so it's very easy to even just put your finger directly down. So that's not going to provide any protection. But officials say otherwise. We'd like to assure Albertans that all of our PPE meet our safety standards. Prasad says they've received complaints from healthcare workers, which he chalks a lot of it up to comfort and familiarity with the old supplier. I do not in any way think that our challenges with these masks are about personal preference, unless it's a personal preference to maintain safety for our patients and our colleagues and our families. Prasad says they are listening. We've already taken some of these steps to be able to uh, improve these masks. Uh, things like uh, working with the manufacturer to fix the nose clips, uh, working with them to increase the size so that when you pull the mask from nose to chin, there is more material to pull over, which will allow you to make sure that the masks are sitting better. No timeline was given as to when those improvements could be seen on the front line. Meantime, O'Reilly hopes AHS can learn from this moving forward. I think the number one thing that physicians would like to see happen is proper consultation with experts in the field prior to making these big decisions that do have very important impacts for all Albertans. In Calgary, Tara Overhold, City News.